Are you in control of your own life? Do you own your own thoughts? Are you making the most out of yourself? In this video, three warning signs that you are not in control of your own life. Please excuse my dirty ass hands, I've been working on my car. All right, so before we get started, please do me a huge favor and like, subscribe, and don't forget the bell. All right, let's just get right into it. The first warning sign that you are not in control of your own life is... One of my biggest pet peeves are complainers. Chronic complainers. And it seems like complainers have taken over the role of dinosaurs because they now seem to rule the earth. In life, there is reality and there is your expectations. And somewhere in the middle lies your desire to complain when they don't match. In other words, we complain when reality doesn't live up to our expectations. And rather than take control of our own lives and change our expectations or change our reality, we complain. And a complaint can range anywhere from harmless gossip at work to chronically screaming in frustration every time something does not go your way. But no matter what level of complaining, they all source from the same broken mindset. The idea that your environment needs to change to better suit your desires. The idea that the world should change in order to live up to your expectations. You don't need to change. Everything around you needs to change. Which to me is fucking ridiculous. But that in itself is not a broken mindset or a broken way of thinking. But it is if your only solution to the environment that you're not satisfied with is to complain about it. If you're not satisfied with anything in your environment, then do whatever you need to do to change it. And then change it. Don't just sit there and complain about it. Because complaining does absolutely nothing. If there was somehow a rule book to complaining, rule number one would be you can't complain about something that you did to yourself. Do you agree with that? Is that fair to say? Well, the truth is that most situations in life that cause you to want to complain are situations that you have made the choice to be in. Therefore, you pretty much forfeit your right to complain about them. That's like a guy starting a fight and then complaining when he gets punched in the face. And then asking everyone he's complaining to to give him sympathy for it. Stop complaining. You are not only making yourself look like an idiot, but you are proving to everyone how incapable you are of taking responsibility for your own problems and taking control of your own life. It is important to care what other people think. I like when a woman dresses up and makes herself look the best she can. I like walking down the street and seeing a nice home with a beautiful yard. I like when people listen to what I have to say. All of these things were given to me because people care what I think. But when you care too much what other people think, other people's thoughts become your thoughts. And if you don't control your own thoughts, how can you be in control of your own life? If you are very influenced by what others think or what you think others think, then you need to understand something. The earth is four and a half billion years old. Your time on this earth is so fucking short. There is like four and a half billion things to do on this earth. You couldn't possibly do them all even if you spent your entire life trying to. You simply do not have very much time on this earth. So to waste that precious time living in the shadow of what you believe other people think or expect of you is an absolute waste. So take control of your life, the small amount of time that you have and stop caring about what other people think. Four and a half billion things to do, and you are bored. You don't know what to do with yourself. Boredom to me is like staring at a fridge full of food and complaining that there's nothing to eat. 
There is tons of shit to eat. The problem is that you just have no inspiration to cook. Me? I do not remember the last time I was bored because I recognize the almost infinite amount of opportunity available to me that has always been there and always will be. And what bothers me is I don't have enough time to do it all. I cut into my sleep just to get more time. I battle exhaustion constantly just to get more done. I get frustrated because there are so many things that I want to do, I just don't have enough time to do it. So when I hear that people are bored because they have too much time and no inspiration to do anything with it, well, you know what? Why don't you give me your extra time? Or why don't you give your extra time to the thousands of children who die from cancer every single year? I'm sure they would love to have just a little bit more time. Your life was given to you as an amazing gift. Scientists have somehow proven that the odds that you were even born are 1 in 400 trillion. Do you even realize how rare you are? So the fact that you are not making the best of every single moment that you have is an expression of how ungrateful you are for that gift. If you're feeling bored, it's probably because you are not prioritizing what is important to you. Our daily routines, our nine to five jobs, social media, our regrets, our worries, all of these things end up taking over control of our lives. And when we finally sink into our couch at the end of the day, we forget what is important to us. The bottom line is stop worrying about what other people think. Stop trolling and complaining about what other people do. Start prioritizing what matters most to you. And you'll be surprised at how much inspiration floods in when you take control of your own life.